Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. And if you're new here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. When you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set that to all so you're notified every single time I upload, which is every single Monday like clockwork. We don't play no games around this channel. Also, go ahead, give this video a big thumbs up. Definitely helps my channel out, which is a free way for you to do so. And today, I'm gonna show you how I got this pastel look and what techniques I kind of use just to make sure if it worked well on my skin. I definitely don't have the deepest skin tone, but it is trending right now. I don't know why people are saying black girls can't wear pastels or they can come out ashy, because I'm here to prove y'all wrong, because it definitely worked out for me. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. Okay, so you guys already zoomed in. Uh, my eyebrows already done. Eyelids are primed. I just used my Tarte Shape Tape and Tan Sand. For this look, I'm actually gonna use these pastel pigments from Makeup or Murderer, the same um, brand that um, has the neon. They're actually from the same set. I got the combo, the neons and the pastel. So I'm gonna try to use those pastels um, because everyone's talking about pastels right now and can black girls, people of color actually use them? Are they gonna work out with tips and tricks they can use? I'm just gonna see if these pastels will work on my skin. I'm also gonna go ahead and use these same um, actually colors in the neons just for my lower lash line, I think, or I'm, or I'm not completely sure, but I'm going to incorporate these somehow because I really love them and they're popping. Okay, and just to make things a little easier on myself, I just did pour out some of the pigments, I don't wanna mix them, in this little dish because I don't yet have the blood drip jars that they do sell. Um, I'm gonna put another picture here and I'll link, put a link down below to their website. And you can also, Jesus Christ, sorry. <laughs> and you can also just go ahead and check out the code that I have down below. It's not my affiliate code, it's someone else that provided it to me. So I'm just gonna share that with you so you guys can also get 10% off. So to start, I think for my transition, I'm just gonna go in with my blender brush. This is my 225 by Zoeva. Just a fluffy brush. And I'm actually gonna dip right into that pink. Oh crap. And if you remember, you kind of want to, I'm using this as a transition. Hopefully it works out and you kind of want to just actually pack that in and not really um, swipe. So I'm just gonna pop that right in the middle. And so far so good, like it's showing. Remember this is just my um, shape tape. So I'm actually just gonna lay it down and then I'm gonna blend it out. And again, this is just my shape tape. I did not use any white concealer. I do have a white concealer on standby just in case. I think I'm actually gonna use that to cut the crease just to see if it makes a difference and as you can see it's it's shown pretty well on my skin i really would love to try these out on darker complexion um but we're social distancing so no one can come over and play with me um but as soon as we are out of this whatever this is this is crazy i'm actually gonna try this out and put on my channel just how they actually work if anyone out there has these pigments and it's of a darker skin tone. Definitely um, tag me on Instagram if you try them. Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear, um, you know, how they worked out for you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just continue to blend this out. Okay, so that uh, went on pretty nicely. As you can see, there was some fall. I just swept away um, some of it. But, and this is just with my regular concealer. Um, it went on nicely. It actually was no problem blending it out. just a little yeah it wasn't no issues really blending it out as you can see and it is really really pigmented but um just because you know don't want to look too ashy because pastels are pretty ashy i'm actually just gonna go in with my warrior 3 by juvia's place and actually hit this pink here it's not as deep as the one in the zulu palette so it's just it's fairly light so i'm just gonna actually go and with, oh my god, did you guys see that? My claws just dug everything out. What the hell? Okay, so after uh, you're done making a mess like I did, I'm just gonna go in with my E36 by Morphe and just right into that, um, this pink here, this um, Fanti, that's what it's called. And I'm actually just going to hit that right in the crease. Um, I'm using this brush because I don't want it to be overpowering. I just want to give that a little bit of depth. So just right, literally right in the crease here. It's not like blending the best with these pigments, especially right there where it's mostly just fallout because I was really hitting that. But I'm just gonna do this here like this. 
and like just blend it in. See, it's not too overpowering. It's kind of like <laughs> the backdrop here, but I think that makes a huge difference. Okay, now that I really hit that um, crease, I'm satisfied with that. Um, not satisfied with how much I made a mess, but it is what it is. I'm just going to go back in with that 225. Just a little, okay. And just buff out the edges a little bit. Just to make sure you can really still see that. And guys, I know I look crazy, just let it go. You guys know I always pull it together in the end. Stop trying to play me right now. And don't worry about the mess on the lid if you guys are following along because you're gonna I'm gonna cut the crease and clean it up anyway. Okay, looking real crazy, not gonna lie. For my for the outer corner, I'm gonna use some um, and also in the crease a little bit. I'm going to use this 231. This is my petite crease brush. If you don't have this brush, you can use the E36 or any similar tapered brush like this. And I'm actually going to go into that purple. And oh. I don't want to make a mess. Um, and I'm actually going to put that on the outer corner now. I'm going to press it at first. Jeez. And then try to blend that in. Here's where we are. The purple is blended out with the pink. I did go back in and touch up on the pink. Um, in the inner corner just to make sure it still shows off camera real quick not so real quick y'all know i'll be playing myself i'm actually going to cut the crease with a white concealer now this is the bh studio pro concealer in white um just to see if it makes a difference because i really want that blue to show so i'm just going to go ahead do that off camera come back apply the blue and we'll see because you guys know i can't just have this <laughs> i don't know what's wrong with me i cannot just have this plain matte look i'm gonna need something or maybe i won't we'll see how i feel i don't know y'all know i'm crazy so let me just go ahead and cut the crease and i'll be right back okay so here's where we are I told you i want to glitter i found a way to add it so i just went ahead cut the crease with the white concealer it actually performed really well i kind of hoped it would be a little bit thicker but it was really really good this is my first time using it so i'm not mad at all i did just cut the crease and extend that um crease line all the way out i went over it with the nice glitter primer and i actually used um if you saw my last video make sure you go ahead and check it out it's from trifle cosmetics a uh, treat or dessert inspired brand they did send me these bonbon bon blings which are some are pigments and some are glitter so i did just go ahead and just use that glitter right over top that white i think it came out really nicely and really complimented i know i still look really really crazy just get over it you know when i'm done this is in the um pigment snowflake muffin again i don't have a discount code for them but i know if you sign up for the newsletter as it says on their packaging and soon as you go to their website which will also be linked down below you can get 20 percent off because i know these were a little bit pricey if you don't want to purchase i'm sure you can find a similar glitter with the nyx either their shimmer downs or their glitter brilliants i would say this is more like the glitter brilliant except they're a little bit more fine um but that's good i did also go ahead and just pack that back in so I'm just gonna show you right now on camera. So I'm just gonna take this flat brush, dip it right into that blue. And again, you're not gonna wanna be knocking off any excess. This is a pigment, it's all excess. You just wanna go ahead and pack that on. So what I'm doing is I'm packing it on the lid, but I'm staying below that little crease line, just a little. And I did have to go back over um, that purple just to blend it out. But it, it blend, they blend nicely together, so it's not an issue. Just be careful. Make sure you keep that line visible because you're going to want to go over that with your glitter primer. So, okay, so you see it does take away some of that purple here. Uh, don't worry about it. Once you get the glitter down, you can go back in and fix that. <laughs> Just going to take a little bit of my NYX glitter primer right in the back of my hand. I always use too much. I'm trying to be better and not wasteful, but whatever i'm going to take this um just flat synthetic brush that i always use for any um whenever i do any glitter primer and i'm just going to be careful just to get it right on the tip of the brush and just you just want to pack it in don't rub it don't try to like drag it out you just want to pack it in just to make sure that it's there okay so that's what it's going to be for the glitter i'm going to take the really small flat brush that i always use 
As you can see, I only have glitter on the end. I'm kind of using it to scoop it. It is a fine glitter. Without spilling it, if I can, this is what the glitter looks like. It's a very pretty. So it is pretty fine, but it is really nice. So I'm just gonna actually just go ahead and just scoop a little bit on the tip of the brush. Sorry, I don't wanna cover my face too much. And just stamp it in this way. Once you get the first um, set just to mark it, um, you can just go ahead, it's a lot easier after that. Okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with the way the glitters come out and I know that I'm making a huge mess and there's lots of glitter on my face, but it is what it is. I'm now, um, I'll clean it up later, but I'm gonna go in back with my flat brush that I use for that blue and go back in. Oop, I just made it. Okay, making a mess, making a mess. And I'm just gonna go in and clean that up and add the blue right under. So that's gonna actually clean up the excess glitter fallout just to make that line a lot neater. I'm not even gonna say a little bit, it definitely makes it a lot neater. And again, um, you're just packing it in. The issue with these is that when you pack them in, you kinda wanna, it's hard to secure that pigment down. So you make sure you're really packing it in and kinda trying to blend a little as you go. Because as you see here with the purple, it just like completely lifted up. I'm backing with my Petite Crease Brush crease brush. Damn, girl speak English. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that right over top and blend it in with that blue. Okay. So I think that looks good. I want to just sweep off my face real quick. Okay, so I just cleaned that up a little bit. So for the lower lash line, because I'm gonna just do that now before I go ahead and clean up my um, my base and just do all that because this fallout is gonna be crazy. I'm actually going to, I'm not gonna use any pink. I'm actually going, to... oh, am I? No, okay. Right on my E36, I'm gonna take that neon blue. I don't need it to be too pigmented. I'm gonna actually use that for the inner corner. Yeah, and I think for my waterline, I'm just gonna use a green, for that pop of color, I'm just gonna use a green um, eyeliner. And it's gonna, I think it's LA Girl. Yeah, I'm gonna use that one. So I'm just gonna do this, I said real quick, but look at this mess. And this is why I'm doing this now. And that's pretty cool. I'm satisfied with that. Same brush, just clean off a little bit. I'm gonna go right into that purple and knock off some of it. And it's like making me sneeze. Oh man, let me try to hurry up. Ooh, and that's gonna be on the outer corner. I think that's the most, I'm getting from that purple. And I did bring it out a little bit. Um, I'm gonna clean that off later, I don't really want that. Okay. Yep, it's like a huge contrast, but I'm not mad at it at all because you guys know I'm a little crazy with these colors. I'm just gonna just blend it out some, um, but I am gonna just clean it up with my base. So I think this is fine. I don't want the blue, maybe go into that light, that pastel blue a little bit. Hit the inner corner as well. Maybe right on top of that gonna go right back into that, that neon blue again just to give it a little gradient into that purple. Okay, so this is the final look. I think it came out really, really cute. These pigments are definitely everything. Can you see that? You can definitely see every single shade. Um, it's not ashy at all. The white concealer definitely did help out. Um, I would say it definitely did help out a lot with the blue, just to make it more vibrant. But I don't think for my skin tone it was necessarily needed. Maybe anyone darker than me or you, if you really want it to pop, definitely go for the white concealer. Um, but yeah, black girls can definitely rock pastels. I don't know what y'all talking about.
you prove we are wrong. We, we did it again. So what's up? <laughs> Lashes are in the style. This is, what is this? Lux, there we go. <laughs> They're in the style Lux by Pretty Mink Beauty. I actually did go in with I think it's, was it Take the Crown from the Bloodless Palette as a brow bone highlight up here. It's that purple one that I did use on my lid um, when I did try that palette, so go ahead and check that video out. For my highlight, I used Confetti. This is the Shimmer Stick by Fenty Beauty um, on my cheeks. On my nose, the bridge of my nose, I did use um, just my Physician Formula. It's a butter highlighter in um, Rose Gold. That's the one. That. So for my lips, I did go ahead and use my NYX Suede Lip Liner in Aria. I topped that with my Dose of Colors. You know that's my baby in um, Nude Moon. And right on top of that, I did use my Fenty Gloss Balm in Diamond, um, Diamond Milk. That's it. In Diamond Milk. Um, and I really like how this whole thing just came out. It just looks so nice and pretty and just soft. Like I'm... I fucks with it. What about you guys? Tell me how you like the look down below. Go ahead, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. When you do, hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload, which is every single Monday. We don't play no games around here. Okay, make sure you go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Definitely check out my stories. Look out. There is a giveaway coming up soon. I don't know if it's going to be for a gift card or for um, something one of my merch items, um, but definitely look out for that. Let me know down below if you'd like this look, any of the looks you'd like to see. I know we're social distancing right now, so I don't have someone to actually um, darker than me to actually try these pigments out on, um, but as soon as we can get back to regular schedule programming, because this shit is whack AF. I'm gonna go ahead and definitely try that out. I do have some collabs coming up, so make sure you look out for that, guys. And stay tuned. Make sure you're sharing every video. Definitely comment down below. Everything really, really helps me out a lot. And I really do appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time.